Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll see how to enable logging in Python. This will help you to save complete command execution into a log file. This is useful for auditing or maintaining execution history with timestamps. This is having different logging levels. I have added this here for our reference and with help of handlers and log levels we can redirect logs to different destinations we have different types of handlers in the python logging we'll see all those in detail and to enable logging with handlers we can follow all these seven steps and i'll be using this function to demonstrate logging and the logics inside this function i have explained in our previous videos and this is initiating ssh to the device using Paramico. Here it is sending show IP interface brief command, then storing that into output. Here we are printing the output. Then using this particular regex pattern, we are parsing the interface configuration details. Then here we are doing a for loop, and from the parsed output, we are creating a dictionary, and the dictionary name is interface dictionary and that dictionary we are appending to interface list so this regex pattern and this logic we have seen in the regex tutorial so without logging let me first run the script so i'll run it so this is connecting to lab csr so you can see the device details here. Here we are printing even the show IP interface brief output. So you can see here. Here we are printing the output. And inside for loop we are printing the dictionaries. So it is taking individual interface and printing the properties. Now let us go to the logging documentation and first we need to import logging then there is an object called logger so that is having multiple attributes and methods and here we can set the level after that if you see here we have some options for handlers and you can see the logging levels here if you give the logging level as debug so this will try to print entire logs which is coming above debug. If you give this as warning, this will try to print warning, error and critical errors. And here if you scroll down, we can even format the logs. And we should be able to see some of the attributes and its format. And if you look into the log handlers, we have different types of handlers here. So stream handler will send logging output to std out. That means our Python terminal output. And file handler can send log to a file. And same like that, we have SMTP handler based on the logging level this can trigger an email so we'll see all this let us go back to python script so we'll start enabling logging so first step is simple we just need to import logging then we need to create a logger object so i'll call this logger equal to logging dot get logger and we need to give the name and if we go back to the documentation so I'll go to the logging doc so here either we can give underscore underscore name so if you give that if you're going to import this 
as a module that time it will give the module name in the another file but in our case we are going to run it locally so we can give any other name i'll give interface parser and then we need to set the minimum logging level for logger logger dot set level and i'll set this logger dot debug logging dot debug then we need to create handlers here in this example i will create two file handlers one will log all the logs which is in the info level and another will log the debug level logs so let me create a file handler here file handler info equal to logging dot file handler and we can give the file name here i'll give show info dot log same like that we can create a debug level handler also and file name i'll give debug and we'll create one more handler for printing in it in our terminal we can give any name here this is just a variable stream handler logging dot stream handler and here we need to give sys dot std out now we need to set log level for each handlers so i will put the log level for all the handlers so for file handler info i am setting log level to info for debug i am giving debug level if we don't set what will happen is once we add these handlers to this logger by default it will take the logger debug level and after that we need to create a formatter i'll give the variable name formatter then logging dot formatter and we can take the format from here and from here we'll take the time so human readable time for printing that we can take this value and i'll create a string and i'll paste it and then we'll take the logger name then we'll take the level name so that we'll get the log level in the message then the message whatever we are going to print i'll take that as well then we need to add this formatter to all the handlers so i'll put that and then we need to add all these handlers to this logger so now only thing you need to do is in each stage you need to 
just add the log message with the levels now without that let us try running once so here the logger name is interface parser without any log if you run so this is creating file these files will be empty now i'll remove this particular data and we'll see the documentation of this so here it says return a logger with specified name if no name is specified it will return the root logger so we'll try running this so let us open this file and here you can see i am getting parameter related logs because in root logger by default this is adding parameter level logs if you remove this and if i give back the previous name now this is going to log only from this particular file in the next tutorial we'll see how to enable logging in this script for each stage